Hey, yeah, it's going. It's Walsh here, Descendant of Nurgle. Today, I got some more tips for intermediate players and slightly leaning toward towards advanced players. Kind of depends on how you look at it and when you join the server, because obviously there are people way further than this. Uh, I will tell you in this game, if you play in a group, you can fly through the game pretty fast. But honestly, what I really like about this game is I can just kind of like chill and do it at my own pace. I don't have to go crazy. You know, it's not like Path of Exile or something where I have to like you know, keep on point everybody else. I'm just enjoying the game, and it's just fun to learn all this stuff. But anyway, I hope some of these tips help you out, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's talk about how to make and get better tools. So first of all, for your pickaxe, you can grab some Domain and some Acadia. Okay, it's Acacia. I don't know. Uh, that'll give you 26 mining. That'll carry you for a very long time. Now, for the logger axe, you're going to go the same thing, 25. But if you don't want to use up your domain, you can also just use a OD meal, OD mile, and that'll still get you 25. For a 25 bow, you're going to use chumney wood and some mohair. For your sickle, you're going to use color of rind and arrowlid. So if you're at a point where you like can't make any new tools, you're like, why can I only make like up to 19 or 18 or whatever? So I don't know if there's a secret tech that we don't know yet, but as of right now, the only way to get around this that I know of, besides trading with other players, is you're gonna wanna come up here far north to a town called Gantris. You will have to get five, no, I think it's 10 rep? It's five or 10, I'm pretty sure it's 10. And then you'll be able to go in the town. You're gonna come up here to the Golden Word Park. Oh, I lied. You're gonna come here to the Place of Wonders. Talk to Farad. And he sells tools, 21, 22, 25, 23. Now, if you're on a new server, uh, okay. If you're on a new server and you get here first, you can actually sell these tools for a ton of money. Someone tried to do it on our server and I tried to help the new players not get scammed because they had them up for like 8,000, 10,000 gold. And I was like, guys, just go north and do the quest. Don't, don't get scammed. All right, let's talk about some more advanced materials. So, if you have Pretty Bard Portal, you're going to follow this all the way down in the round, and you're going to come up this little ledge. You will need 25 underground, but well, you're going to get three nodes of uh, Soren Tile. You're also going to get some root leather. It's not too bad. Um, the mobs really aren't scary. They don't even attack me, even when I farm. I'm just going to show you all the mats real quick. Again, sorry about my voice. I'm kind of dying. You also get some boron up here and even more Soren tile. If you are working on the uh, Arcanist quest line and you have the quest where you need to grab a bunch of herbs, you need like 10 of each one, I'm going to show you where all of those are. So down south near Pretty Bard Portal, you can get Limo Tarsus and two sources of Meridos. You also have Cascardent right here. And you have two sources of Nordina up here. I will tell you, they have really long respawn times, like, I think this is either 12, wait, let me see, I just mined it, oh, never mind, I lied, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like 12 or 20 hours or something like that, it's a really long time, so as soon as you can gather them, just start going to collect them, even if you're not at that quest yet. I'm gonna show you how to make uh, my favorite pair of boots here, grab some traveler boots, grab some auroch leather, some jutug, and uh, you're good to go. So, if you're trying to get 53 Sticky Sap, I will tell you, you can get it from the level 2 uh, Lumberjack bonus. It's just going to take you a very long time. What I recommend you do is, uh, it's it sounds like very basic advice, but obviously these tier 1s, like, technically you can get it, supposedly, but I never have. Just go around and find all the tier 2, tier 3 resources you can, and just keep farming them, man. It's a long, tedious quest. I wish I had a better tip for you, but... That's how I got through it. So you get the quest to get those green little fingers, huh? You can either go to this cave over here that I showed you earlier, which will let you fight lizards and you'll get one or two at a time. But if you come here, south of the Portal of Whispers, you will need 36 mountain. But these guys drop like anywhere between... I think the most I've gotten is four. 
But I've seen people in damn. I've seen people in chat say they've gotten six before, but I don't know if that's true or not. But you can pretty much just do this once, and probably half the time you'll just instantly do the quest. Yeah, four fingers, just like that. Easy. So next, I'm going to show you all the resources that I have found so far that take two days to respawn. They are very high tier resources. They're really easy to gather, some of them. Some of them are really hard, but hopefully this helps you. So the first one, as you can see, is Redentine. You will have to travel from the Whisper Portal through a cave to get to here. To get through the cave, you will need 26 underground. Uh, I haven't really found anything in this cave, unless there's something, like, super sneaky in here. So, just kind of walk through it. Okay, for your next resource, we're going to go get the uh, wood. So, there is a little trigger up. So, if you go to this, go to the Corinna portal, go west, go to the swamp, go south on the river, you will get a trigger that will give you a quest for this guy. And once you do that, you can pay 200 gold to go to this little island. Come on. Now, on this island, you have Corrupto, which is pretty awesome wood, and it respawns every 48 hours. Also, the dragon's here. Alright, if you remember upgrading your little puppy, you're going to come into this cave, and all the way up here is some Azzy Blue. It takes 25 mining, and just like all the others, takes two days to respawn. Hopefully some of these tips helped you out. I will be releasing another video this week, but thank you for watching.